Hi, I'm Dr. Vinay Kumar. Hi, I'm Dr. Divya. In the previous video, we have demonstrated the step back technique. So, today in this video, we are going to explain crown down technique. Step back technique involves preparation of the root canal first in the apical one third, followed by the shaping of middle third and coronal third. While the concept of first instrumenting the coronal one third of the root canal before apical shaping is known as crown down technique. Now let's look at it clinically. Patency of the canal is first established with a pre-curved number 8K file. This is followed by placing the pre-curved 10K file in a watch winding motion. Obtaining patency with number 8 or 10K file forms the first step in any technique of root canal shaping. The next step involves the preparation of the coronal two thirds of the canal using headstrom files of size number 15, 20 and 25 to a working length depth of 16 to 18 mm or to the point where the file starts binding. This is a stainless steel gates glid and drill with flame shaped non end cutting tip. After preparation with hedge files, coronal flaring of the root canal is done with the help of GG drills number 3, 2 and 1. Usage of GG drills from the larger size to the smaller size prevents the formation of coke bottle appearance of the root canal. Care should be taken in directing the GG drills away from the forcation to avoid strip perforation of the root canals. Now place a 60k file in a watch winding motion until resistance is met. This is followed by placement of 55k file next 50k file in a decreasing order of file sizes until the apex is reached with a master apical k file remember in between every large file recapitulation with patency files and irrigation with sodium hypochlorite should be done to avoid debris accumulation as well as to maintain patency in a crown down pleasureless technique instead of using hedge files for initial preparation a 35K file is used to the point of canal binding. Advantages of crown down technique over step back technique. The debris extrusion is minimized thereby post operative discomfort is reduced. Crown down technique allows better penetration of the irrigants. Furthermore, crown down technique offers better control over the apical enlargement preventing mishaps. Working length is less likely to change with this technique. 